Welcome back to the channel. There is clearly still a lot of work that needs to be done before we could get that floor installed, so we're getting down to business and doing as much as we can before the floor gets here on Saturday. Now I'm finally diving into one of the rust repairs that I've been putting off for quite a while, and that is the top hat section in the back of the wheel well. I don't really think it's worth it to get an entire new top hat, so I'm cutting out the rusted portion and then with the minimal tools I have, I'm gonna attempt to fabricate a piece to fill it in. Now, as you can see, I'm working with what I've got and I'm using 18 gauge steel, which is about the thickness of the original metal here, bending it using some means that aren't really the best, but in the end, you'll see that it ends up working out I clamped the pieces together so I could kind of see what needed to be trimmed and then it was time to weld it in place and get it all fit up. The time has now come to install a custom made C pillar. So I made sure that I cleaned up the areas where the skin for the front of the fender was going to go so that I could use the skin itself to kind of give me the template for where the C-pillar went. I then used the old C-pillar, put them side by side, and tried to transfer measurements, but it's not very easy when you've got a curved surface, and I'm not very good at measuring things. I got it fit up, tacked it in place, and then I just went through making sure everything lined up nice and good. And it seems like it's lining up nice and good. So we are back from Bugapalooza and Mallory is about to... You wanna get the, the sunburn? Look at that sunburn. Big shout out to everyone who came up to me at Bugapalooza and said, are you the Vangabonder guy? <laughs> and shout out to Tyler for the spot. And Mallory is about to open it. Can he pose with it? All right, open it up. Let's see what our new floor is gonna look like. I don't know, what, just, what is she doing, Jasper? So here we've got the sliding door side for you left-hand drive people. Looks pretty good. Um, definitely not the best piece of replacement sheet metal. You can see the stamping marks here, but it's not bad for the price. Time to test the fit of the floor. All right, here we go. Let's see. Now, I mean, obviously it's gonna fit I have everything cut out. that much wonk, jeez. There we go. Oh, there we go. I think it's something like that. Ow! Wear gloves, children. So the fit is decent. We're gonna put the inner rocker back in. I guess we'll get it welded in place. If I'm brave enough, I've been putting this off. Well, I've been waiting until I got the floor and I'm putting it off, but you know what I mean. Drill some holes, spot weld it on, and we'll be one step closer to getting this side skin welded in. Pretty exciting. Let's get it done.
Now, if you're wondering why I didn't paint everything and I taped some off, it's because those are the areas that are gonna get welded, and the green paint itself is weld through primer. I made sure to paint the inside where it's not gonna get touched anymore, and that way, with the epoxy primer, hopefully it prevents future rust. We're heading to Bugapalooza day two, as I didn't record anything yesterday because I was selling bus parts, which I sold a couple. So we're gonna go actually check out the buses this time. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I certainly enjoyed making it. If you want one of these custom wood burnings, make sure to leave us an email at vangabonders at gmail.com or follow us on Instagram and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.